for Batman they have this thing in the sky I should just turn my camera on and start filming and then it's gonna show up Hello cookies, it's Siri, I am back and today I'm going to be talking about the RMS Beauty on Cover Up Foundation in the shade 55 For reference, my MAC shades are between NC42 and NC44 so NC42 is when it's my winter shade and NC44 is when it's the summer at the moment I am a little bit in between so I'm not entirely pale as in as pale as I can get and yes I can actually get pale during the winter but I'm not as tanned as during the summer anymore I have looked everywhere for someone else to use the shade 55 I haven't found it and I've watched probably all of the YouTube videos including the RMS Beauty YouTube channel and they don't list the foundation shades and I was thinking this foundation is pricey if I get the wrong shade I can't even return it because here in Sweden companies can be a bit complicated when it comes to returns let's put it that way I have also an olive undertone I'm extremely green and with this lighting that is cloudy and blue I look even extra extra green and in the upcoming footage of me applying this I didn't think that the natural daylight would be enough so I used an artificial light and it looks so green because I have my camera on auto white balance and the auto white balance has been shifting the whole time so I might appear extremely green or moderately green yellow okayish so right now it looks okayish but throughout this video it's going to shift <laughs> I have been looking for a foundation that is dewy but not extremely greasy looking and a foundation that doesn't feel so heavy on the skin. Lately I have been liking the no nothing feeling on my face so no foundation, just concealer every now and again and I always catch myself wanting to wash my face as soon as possible when I have foundation on. I have tested this foundation for three or four days and it is so comfortable. I really like it and it hasn't broken me out. I haven't gotten worse skin and my skin has been a mess lately because I ran out of my toner a month ago and without that toner all hell just breaks loose. Literally and not literally because you know acne breaking out all hell breaks loose The coverage of this foundation for me is just lagom which in Sweden means right it's not too light coverage so it doesn't do anything but I don't want heavy coverage because I want it to look as natural as possible I've been really liking the natural look when people can't tell whether I have anything on or not and I've managed to fool a lot of people girlfriends, the boyfriend by the way, on my lips I'm wearing Peripera number 5 chili ink tattoo this is how much I take of it so a very small amount not that much at all as you can see there isn't that much that I have applied and there is some left on here so I'm going to just first do a first blend My initial plan was always to film this in natural daylight to show you how the foundation performs because I do believe that it's in natural daylight and in my gym that this foundation looks the best which is basically what I want because I'm either at home walking my dog or at the gym so those are the locations where I want my foundation to look good and this is one of those instances where the natural daylight looks so much better than the light that I was using in the previous shot it was blinding me it is a beautiful foundation cookies I really like it now I haven't set anything with powder yet so it's extremely shiny my eyes always at 100 so this is actually not even the most flattering natural daylight it's not totally overexposed you can see that the couch and the table are not white white they're a little bit off white which means that there is no strong lighting this is as natural as it gets I'm going to set this with some powder here 
So this is how the foundation looks like and this foundation I have noticed when going to the gym looks way better after a heavy workout which is weird because it's supposed to disintegrate and get patchy and everything because I do heavy workout. I'm not lazy at the gym, I really am not and I'm going later after filming this. So I can tell you that it looks better after the gym, so maybe it sets a little bit. So this is how the makeup looks like after the gym. I ran for half an hour and sweated a lot, so I had to bloat my face with some tissue paper. And surprisingly enough, it did not transfer on the tissue paper, which I did not expect. And it still looks really good. Actually, in this type of lighting that I have in the hallway, it looks so airbrushed, but in this camera, not so much because the lighting isn't the best and the white balance is just on auto. And I don't technically have that much foundation around my nose anymore because I had to blow it earlier at the gym. I got extremely upset because the Skansen Zoo, which is a huge zoo here in Stockholm, decided to kill four perfectly healthy wolves because they say that they want to take in uh, mountain foxes instead. And now that they're not useful anymore, you just decide to discard them and take in some other animals. Just like that, it's just a game when you deal with other lives. So that's so freaking trashy and disgusting, so I got upset. It does get a little bit shinier on the zone here, where I usually set my powder but that's normal because I use very little powder under my eyes and then on that area. I don't like the feeling of powder and I don't like the feeling of wearing something too heavy on my face. So this is perfect for me. The natural daylight is rapidly disappearing. I probably have half an hour more of natural daylight. So we got two hours today. Amazing. That is a miracle. So this is the final look. I just completed it really quickly. It's nothing extravagant since I'm going to the gym later and this is already a bit much for me while going to the gym. But I'm really pleased with the foundation. Dogo is not pleased with the filming. So this foundation is great for a natural look, dewy finish but not super oily. And when I set it with a bit of powder, I think it's just great. And the boyfriend is coming in again as I'm filming. It always happens. I'm telling you, Cookies, in the video that I just released, he, he does it and now he does it again. And I'm actually filming in the middle of the day. It's there's like, maybe this is my secret thing to call the boyfriend. You know how for Batman they have this thing in the sky. I should just turn my camera on and start filming and then he's gonna show up. So wherever he is, I can always find him again. Just turn on the camera and start filming. We have decided to have lunch. Oh yeah, true. Actually, the boyfriend is supposed to make me pizza today. Well, supposed and supposed, that sounds so entitled. He offered to make me pizza for lunch because I've been craving pizza for the longest time, aka for a week, but that's a long time to crave pizza. So I forgot about it and now it's here. So I'm going to get pizza, yay. And that's it for today, cookies. Until next time, I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye. This is two hours later after I have applied the foundation and I actually changed my white balance. So I set it properly this time with a proper gray thingy and I think it looks better. So this is how it's supposed to look like. This is how it looks like.